Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. Another very quick mnemonic series video or mnemonic trick video to understand the oxygen's saturation curve. Oxygen saturation curve is a part from where CSI net asks question every single session. And oxygen saturation curve of hemoglobin particularly and uh, how exactly this oxygen saturation curve of hemoglobin shifts to the right, when it shifts to the left, what is the Haldane effect? what is the Bohr effect and how they are related and connected in the terms of the hemoglobin's oxygen saturation curve. All this information is very very crucial for many questions in CSI net entrance examination as well as other PhD entrance examination. So this video is going to give you a clarity on that. So I'll write it. This video is going to talk about a Bohr effect and Haldane effect. And in terms of in terms of the oxygen saturation curve of hemoglobin means in which direction in which side the oxygen saturation curve of hemoglobin is going to slide we know the oxygen saturation curve of hemoglobin is a sigmoidal curve or s shaped curve it show it sometimes shift to the right it sometimes shift to the left what is the significance of the shift and what we mean by the halden effect in the oxygen binding to the hemoglobin and what we know by the uh, Bohr effect in terms of the oxygen's saturation to the hemoglobin. Okay, so for uh, to remember that we have two sentences. Actually, I put two sentences. These are really uh, so. First sentence is very simple, straightforward. It is boring cat. That's it. That's all you need to remember. A boring cat. And the second sentence that we have here is uh, say hello. Say hello to. C bill score. Okay. So remember what is the Sibyl score? Sibyl score is your credit score based on which you have been sanctioned loan or credit cards, right? Everybody has the Sibyl score in India, particularly. You have a Sibyl value. So that is uh, what we put here. First sentence is boring cat. Second sentence is say hello to your Sibyl score. That's all. If you remember that, you are almost halfway there to understand the Bohr effect and Halden effect in terms of the oxygen saturation curve of hemoglobin okay so starting with the boring cat part so you know bo obviously is it will be go with the bohr effect bohr effect okay the bohr effect here boring cat bohr effect and uh, we have r in it so that is a right shift remember that right shift okay and cat C for CO2, A for acidity, and T for tissues. Now, body tissues. So, why we have this cat important? C for CO2, A for acidity, and T for tissues. Now, now I'll be explaining the actual Bohr effect. And what happens in the Bohr effect is that the oxygen saturation curve of hemoglobin. That's a sigmoidal curve. It shifts to the right. That is Bohr effect. It shifts to the right. Bohr effect, oxygen saturation curves shift to the right. Now, why it shifts to the right? When it shifts to the right? Because when there is high carbon dioxide concentration, when there is high acidity, where in the tissues, there only this oxygen saturation curve of hemoglobin will shift to the right, occurring a Bohr effect. Now why so? Because if there is more CO2 in the tissues, in the body tissues, because the body tissues are utilizing oxygen and generating carbon dioxide as a byproduct of the metabolism. So carbon dioxide is being released. So high CO2 concentration is there in the uh, tissues. Acidity is also high in the tissues due to metabolism. So high acidity and CO2 is a, is a condition where uh, the hemoglobin will now bind to CO2 and it will release oxygen there. It is very important that the hemoglobin here hemoglobin here releases releases oxygen and binds to co2 because there is more co2 here in the tissue so hemoglobin will bind to the co2 but the hemoglobin re will release oxygen in that tissue right there is more acidity in the tissue more co2 in the in the tissue that triggers the whole process and that shifts the oxygen saturation curve to the uh, right causing bohr effect that is bohr effect Remember, the Bohr effect is clear. 
Why is it done in the tissue? Where it is done in the tissue? Why? Due to high CO2 concentration, high acidity in the tissue. Clear? All this information from one sentence, boring cat, that's it. The next sentence that we have is that say hello to Sibyl's score. And here is hello, we have Halden. Halden effect. We have Halden effect. Okay? So hello to, uh, so Halden, and again, LO is there, that is low O2. LO, L for low, O for O2, low oxygen. And then we have this CBIL, what this CBIL will stand for. Let me write them down. So C is CO2, okay. B is the binding, CO2 binding. I is not required, L is left shift. Okay, so this is the Halden effect. In the Halden effect, when there is low CO2, when there is when there is low oxygen, sorry, when there is low oxygen, and that is again in the tissue of our body, when there is low oxygen, the carbon dioxide's binding capability to the hemoglobin increases. Left shift. So Halden effect cause left shift of this hemoglobin oxygen saturation curve okay i believe you got a clear idea uh, about all the topics that we discussed and one more thing that is very important is that uh, these mnemonics are going to give you so much information in very little time so five to seven minutes of lecture will clear a lot of information in your brain you can put all this information in your brain before the exam and you can ace the exam and if you really like this video lectures then please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues there's a series of this mnemonics lecture a playlist is made for that and the link of the playlist is given in the description click that and watch all the videos of the playlist and if you wish to be mentored by me for your csi net examination or want to get our study material then the details are there here in the video you can contact us by this given number or directly can download our application or our check our website that is www.shomsbiology.com thank you bye